Hi there, Victor Pro speaking to you, anarchist artist. Well, today I just thought I'd uh, let you in my uh, studio, or a section of it anyway, and uh, you know, just take you behind the scenes, behind the curtain, so to speak, and show you where I keep uh, some of my work in storage. This doesn't. Uh, this is not the whole picture. But step on in with me. And uh, we can see brightly lit storage area where we have a whole slew of my paintings. And we can take a step in, take a look at uh, what we have here. And some of these back paintings here are, I had on, uh, on a gallery showing, an Icons and Idols gallery showing. And here is where I keep a bulk of my uh, paintings in storage. I have a lot more in the studio, all lined up against the wall, and uh, I guess it's quite a few years of work. Here we have uh, Schwarzenegger, and uh, we have Obama. I know you're seeing it on a very awkward angle, but uh, I'm doing the best that I can in here. Here we have Picasso, and I have like a, a lot of Picasso art in there that I uh, painted. Um, we have uh, the filmmaker Quentin Tarantino, and uh, the Frankenstein monster, and uh, painting I've titled The Fanatic with all the various ideological bubbles hanging around him and of course we have none other than Jack Nicholson with the eyes looking at you the arched eyebrow and uh, what else we got in here oh yeah we have Salvador, Salvador Dali the surrealist himself with a bulging uh, eye popping out of his head. And uh, what do we have here? My t parody take on Jackson Pollock, with all the various splatters, of course, to be very Jackson Pollock-ish. One of my favorite paintings is Barfly. I remember seeing a guy like this in a cafe. His face looked like uh, tanned leather that's been left out in the rain overnight but they had a lot of tall tales and a lot of wisdom this was in a, when I was in New York City in my 20s and there was this barfly guy that I used to listen to and uh, what do we have here we have uh, Dizzy Galipsy maybe you can hear the jazz music in the back background that's uh, Coltrane the Love Supreme and uh, Michael Jackson ow and uh, Jean Chrétien, the Canadian, you know? Eh? Hockey mania? Cucked hockey fans? There's the, uh, there's the Stanley Cup with the cock in it. Symbolic of the game, I think. And George Orwell, how is, he's very relevant these days, I would say. But anyway. That takes you uh, kind of like behind the scenes, and uh, perhaps one of the most uh, terrifying canvases that one can imagine would be the empty canvas. The empty canvas, which is to be filled. But anyway, Victor Pross signing out. Pop goes the culture. Only if you're from the West Island, it seems, but uh, only if you're from the West Island. Does that mean? Well, it's the sort of total hardcore angle part there. Hi, Kate. Hi, Victor. And then eventually your work becomes higher and higher and higher. You're like, whoa, well, I'm worth this much now. I know my work. I'm like, what? How does that happen? No. No? Yeah. It's like. <laughs>
you know? So you put yourself, you put yourself in the right environment, you get to work, you know?